Hi, this is Matt with Custom Car Grills. This video is for the 2018 and newer Ford Mustang Upper Grill Mesh Set. We designed this to work with the grill on the GT package with three separate openings. Other items such as a silver marker, a knife, a ruler, some cable ties, a Dremel, as well as some adhesive, three quarter inch tape, and some sandpaper will come in handy. The first step in preparing some cuts is to apply the three quarter inch tape to the back edge of the factory plastic mesh. Three quarter inch tape is the perfect size for this project and it will give us a clean and consistent cutting depth. It's best to double check to make sure that the tape has a nice clean line and that it's a consistent depth from the back of the grill. This step is crucial to the rest of the installation, so it's important to make sure this is done correctly. With the tape set, next I'll be using a silver marker to create a cutting line. To do this, I'm simply marking over the tape where the tape meets the grill. After the line is drawn all the way around, the tape can be removed. The reason for drawing the line is that cutting directly on the tape can lead to problems, such as the tape lifting up. To do the cutting, I'm using my Dremel with a number 543 cutting and shaping wheel attached. I'm simply just cutting along the line I drew earlier and making sure to keep a steady hand. It's also important not to have the speed of the Dremel up too high so that it burns excessively through the plastic and not too low to the point where it's struggling to make the cuts. With all the cuts made, the factory plastic mesh should just come right off and those pieces can be discarded. From the heat of the cutting, there will be some burnt plastic bits on the back of the grill that can be removed by hand. If there's some uneven areas from the cuts, sanding the back with some low grit sandpaper will help smooth that out. For the finishing touches on the cuts, I like using a knife to trim any remaining excess. Now here's a look at our freshly gutted out stock grill. Overall the cuts look like they were consistent and smooth, which is what we were going for. Next it's time to check out the mesh we have for sale on our website. The mesh comes semi pre-bent, but the final angle of the mesh will need to be done by the installer before attaching the mesh to the grill. Please use caution during this step as there may be some sharp edges left on the mesh. With the mesh pieces properly bent, the mesh will drop right in place with ease. To temporarily attach the mesh to the grill, I'm going to use some cable ties and some protective foam. Tying the mesh on is simple. I typically feed the tail end of the tie through to the back of the grill. The head of the tie is placed on the back of the mesh while the tie is being pulled tight. This gives the best pressure to keep the mesh tight against the back of the grill opening. Once all the ties are fastened, the tail ends can now be cut off and discarded. To attach the mesh, I like using an adhesive called Automotive Goop. For this install, two of the 3.7 ounce tubes were used. To apply the goop, I'm putting it directly from the tip of the tube to the edge of the mesh near where it meets the grill. In an effort to avoid the goop running down the side, I've propped up the edge that I'm working on. Also, off screen, a fan is blowing on the adhesive to get it to cure a little faster. After a few minutes, it's typically not as runny and it's safe to work on other areas. This adhesive usually takes about a day to cure, so plan the install accordingly. After fully cured, now it's time to cut off and remove the ties and protective foam. Finally, here's the results from all of our work. Check out this freshly modified grill. Wow, what a huge difference this makes compared to the stock grill. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about this one or any of our others, feel free to contact us.